challenges that uh, we were facing as farmers before Farm Africa uh, includes uh, lack of knowledge about farm input. Uh, like uh, fertilizers, we were not able to get the suppliers, good suppliers of fertilizer, therefore we were buying any fertilizer. On uh, scenes, uh, most of the farmers in my free range use just the the normal maize or beans instead of buying hybrid and certified seeds to plant and we end low yields in crops. So after the RI project or after the intervention with the with the Farm Africa we were able to get qualified seeds. We were also able to learn more about the RI the RI practices such as the, there was mulching, agroforestry, crop rotation, use of manure, and even use of micronutrient, that is use of biphosphate. Tulikuwa tunarima tu, kama ni kupanda maiti, tunapanda na tunapanda kama ni beans katikati ya maiti, mpira kujali, tunapanda ama tunafanya, ni bora tutupani. Na tulikuwa kwa eka mimi, nikuwa natoa kama six, Six, six uh, sacks, ya maidi, na maybe a few depths, kama two, three depths of beans. But after the Farm Africa came and we were trained on good farming, last time I had 15, 15 sacks of maize and three sacks of beans. Of course, from uh, the discussion with them, they found the farmers were saying they have gotten improvement in their production after they applied the technologies which were recommended by Farm Africa. But then again they thought it is important they follow it up and see after the, impro the improvement in production, has the soil improved in terms of nutrient? Well, the, the crop will tell us a story but the soils also will tell us a story. So they brought the same samples again after one season. And after the analysis, we have looked at the results again. And we have found that pH has improved, even sometimes by one unit. Some nutrients have also improved, like phosphorus has improved. In some farms, not all the farms. Zinc has also improved. 